Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. Today I'm going to be doing the mid-year book recap tag, which I currently don't know who it's by, but if I do find out I will leave a link to that in the description. That's because it is currently June 23rd. I apologise if my voice sounds a bit weird, but I went to an Ed Sheeran concert last night and lost my voice. But I'm doing good. So as we are halfway through the year, and I've had to double my reading goal and I've also met it again. It was originally 20 books when I did my like books I read so year video. They upped to 20, to, not 20, I upped to 40 and I've read 39 out of the 40 books from halfway through the year. So I think it's time for a tag. Let's begin. Question one is best book you've read so far in 2015, not 2015, 2018. I'm going to get up the books I've read this year because I have no idea. I have a special shelf on Goodreads that has my best of 2018 books so far. So we're going to have a look at that. And so far we have six books on there. The first one is We Are Young by Cat Clark. Then we have To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo or Christo. I still don't know how to say her name. Then Scorpio Races, A Thousand Perfect Notes, which I have here. And I read originally as an advanced read copy ebook back in February. But now it's out and it's in the world and I found it in Waterstones and I was so happy to find it. And what else do we have? The Song of Achilles, which is the book that's broke me. So that is probably the best book I've read this year so far. But the other one is The Raven Boys, and I've become obsessed with the Raven Cycle series. So maybe that's the best. I don't know. Question two is best sequel you've read so far in 2018. And I'm not entirely sure if I've read any sequel. I have read sequels. I've been reading The Raven Cycle. And The Dream Thieves is probably my favourite sequel I've read all time, even though this is part of a four book series, four and a half book series. But yeah, I like The Dream Thieves a lot because I really love the ideas about the whole dreaming and bringing back, bringing back things in the dreams. And I love Ronan's character so much. So he is what I love like, the most about this entire series, especially in this sequel. So yeah, this is the book that focuses more about his storyline. Question three is new release you haven't read yet but want to. Legendary, the sequel to Caraval. I think it's out, it might not be out, it might be an advanced read copy still, but I've seen it, the cover, it's beautiful, and I love Caraval so much, and I've heard, I've seen reviews of Legendary that say it's so much better, and I want to read it so much, but I can't find the book anywhere. That might just, because it's not out yet, but I have no idea when it's out, and I want it so badly. Question 4 is the most anticipated release for the second half of 2018. And I have no idea when books come out, because I don't really keep up to date with when things come out. I just see it on Goodreads, like, yes, a book, I need it. But I'm going to presume that Sandra Clare is bringing out something this year, if she hasn't already. Because that's, you know, that's what I do. Oh, but in the second half of 2018, I'm hopefully releasing my self-published second book which is what I'm probably most excited for, because I'm selfish. <laughs> Question five is the biggest disappointment of the year, and I'm going to go back to my reading challenge and see what I've read this year. So the book Everything Everything that became a film, when it first came out, everyone was a bit obsessed with it. It was, everyone was like, it's the best book that's, it's, like existed, it's the new fault in our stars. And I've read it, I read it this year. So I guess a few years after it came out, and I didn't like it because <laughs> it was so hyped up that I thought like yeah I'm gonna love this so much I love the Fault in Our Stars I love like why contemporary like if our chemical hearts all the bright places be beautiful broken things and I love those and I thought I'd love everything everything but I just didn't and it hurts my heart because I wanted to love it so much I just couldn't Number six is Biggest Surprise, and I think that is going to be All the Bright Places. Because it's another book where it first came out, it was so hyped, or overhyped, that I thought by the time I read it, I wouldn't like it, like it wouldn't live up to expectations, but it hit those expectations and it went above them, and that is one of the best books I've ever read. I have no idea if I've even read it this year, I probably didn't, but that's all I can think about right now. <laughs> Question seven is favourite new author. Oh, my favourite new author for 2015, not 20, I keep saying 2015 because the tag I'm reading the questions of has 2015 in, but it's 2018. Anyway, favourite new authors of the year will probably be C.G. Drews, aka Paper Fury. 
because I love this book so much and I can imagine that I would love everything she writes just because I love her writing style and there's humour in there and it's heartbreaking and also that it takes if you read the description it sounds like maybe a common way plot but it's not that at all and I love it question 8 is nearest fictional crush and I want to say it's one of the guys from the Biff Die at the end but I've forgotten their name so obviously I don't love them that much but also going back to fictional crushes um, the ones in the book I'm writing right now I love very much what's he called? Rufus I love Rufus Number nine is newest favourite character. I'm gonna say I just thought of the song of Achilles again and I love all those characters in that book so much so Achilles and whatever the other guy's name is Patroclus whatever he's called but I love him and that book broke me. Number ten is book that made you cry and that is song of Achilles and I don't think I'm ever going to stop talking about that because that is the one book that actually made me physically cry and my pages have tear stains on them. The next question is a book that made you happy and I'm going to say Simon vs Homo Sapiens Agenda. Even though I watched the film first I loved it so much and it's a very like heartwarming film. But also I love the book and the characters and their relationships and the humour and that's the thing that really made me smile because that's some things I love in YA books. I keep answering questions and then I read the next question and that's, I've already answered it. Because question 12 is favourite booked movie adaptation you saw this year? And I've only seen one, which is Love, Simon, or Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda. So that would be my favourite by default, but also I love it so much that I can't imagine any other one would top it at the moment. <laughs> question 13 is favourite review you've written this year? And I'm not usually someone who writes book reviews, but I've been reading some advanced read copies this year and therefore had to write a few reviews. And I think probably my one for A Thousand Perfect Notes is my favourite. Maybe the one for To Kill a Kingdom. I'm going to go with one of those two. I don't really remember. <laughs> but if you want to read some reviews, there is a link to my blog in the description. And there might be one to my Goodreads where you can look through all the books I read this year so far. And reviews to like any book I read, not just the advanced read copies. Question 14 is most beautiful book you've bought so far this year. I would say this one because like especially if you have two books you can put them together and make a complete butterfly and that's beautiful but ooh, any of these it's come to my attention I probably haven't read all the bright places this year mm. but most beautiful book I haven't got a physical copy of it but I have the ebook of To Kill a Kingdom and also I've seen pictures of the final cover and it's all beautiful and blue and golden and that is probably the most beautiful book I've seen like top 10 of all time maybe. And finally question 15 is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? <sighs> I've bought so many extra books and I just thought you know I'll get around to it. I haven't. I'm currently, my current reads are, I'm currently reading um, Ashes by Ilse J. Bix. I'm going to try and finish rereading these series because I really love it and I don't remember why so I'm going to reread it. I also want to reread The Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children because I got the other two books but I don't remember what happened in the first one and I have to continue reading it. Is there anything else I want to read? These shelves are mostly books I have read but I know I have an entire like shelf or two in the other room that has books I haven't even like looked at yet. But yeah, I might have to do a TBR pile because there's so much to read. But yeah. Thank you for watching this video. In the comments below, let me know your favourite book of the year so far, what you're currently reading, or any book that you're thinking of reading this year. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!